All right, in this video, we are going to set up FTP access to our EONOS uh, web space. We're going to create a new directory in our web space and then create an FTP user for that. And then we're going to download FileZilla, which is a free FTP client, and then point our FileZilla application to the web space so we can move files back and forth between our uh, local PC and our cloud hosted web server, which uh, can then be set to a domain so anything you post to that web host would uh, uh, reflect the website that you're working on. So we are going to just log into yonos.com and we do have a website or a uh, YouTube video rather that was created that shows how to set up this account and everything. So once we log in here we will go to hosting And then we're going to be looking at our web space here. So first we're going to go into web space to create a new folder that we're going to connect to. Then we're going to set up a new SFTP user. So if we go to use web space, you can see our web space here. We should have just one folder here, which is the root of uh, our website we created previously. Now we're just going to create a new folder. We're just going to call it TMWD 10 minute web dev. Our new folder is created. Now we're going to bounce back, go to hosting once more, and choose SFTP. So we are going to create a new FTP account. We are going to create a password here, SFTP, and now we're going to choose where that FTP account will point to. So we're going to choose our newly created folder TMWD. We hit save. And now we're going to hit save. So what this means is this FTP or SFTP account, the default directory will be the TMWD folder. So anything we upload will go to that folder. So here is the uh, access information. I'm going to keep this screen up. We're going to need that in a minute. I'm going to search Google search FileZilla download. So you can see it's going to be a free client. We choose this. Here's the free version. They have paid versions. I always choose the free. You're going to click download. They're going to show us an ad. So from here, you would double click on that executable and install. FileZilla. I already have it installed, so the only step I'm skipping here is running through the wizard to install it. And I just chose the default installation information. And here, uh, with FileZilla running, you can see this is our local file directory. Once we set up a remote site, we're going to see the remote site there. So we're going to go to set up a new connection here. We're going to go to the site manager. We're going to click new site. I'm just going to call it TMWD. And then here it's going to want our information. So we did SFTP. So the host, we're just going to copy paste from here. Here's our host name. Port's going to be 22. The username. And then the password. And we will click OK. Now we have that side here. We're going to click OK. And we are connected to the remote site. So what if I want to create a directory to work within? Let's call it the same thing, 10 minute web dev TMWD. Here's our directory. So if we want to transfer a file there, I can open the file explorer. We'll just take this YouTube logo. We're going to navigate to this temporary directory we just made. So here we have our YouTube logo. If we refresh here, here it is. We can drag and drop this. To our remote site. So we just 
used FileZilla to push this image to our Yonos hosting. And if we want to confirm that, we can go back to here and go to hosting. So we just created this TMWD directory in our web space. And if we go into that, here's our YouTube.png file. All right, so if we want to take this full circle, we can go ahead and create a domain or a subdomain and then point the root of that domain to our newly created web space. And then we'd be able to navigate out to view that YouTube image. And also we can use FileZilla to push a few more things, just a generic home page or something like that. So let's bounce back to our Ionos panel here. And we can go to domains and SSL. Here we can manage domains and subdomains. You can see we've got our single domain. We don't have any subdomains. Uh, I'm going to create a subdomain just because they're free. You could create a new domain and do the same thing we're going to do here. So I'm going to click create subdomain. And here it's going to let us pick the subdomain we want. I think we can create as many subdomains as we want. Hundreds, thousands, I forget where they draw the line. But uh, and I guess if you don't know, a subdomain would be something dot and then your domain name. So I'm just going to go, let's just call it FTP sample. And if we hit save. The subdomain FTP example that timinowebdev.com will be created. So it says it's going to take uh, a few minutes. While it does that, let's bounce back to our domains in SSL. And here we can see our uh, subdomain we just created, FTP example that timinowebdev is available. We're going to click on it and bounce back. So what we're going to do here is set this web space. Uh, destination. So we can click here and we can choose basically when the destination is, is when people go to this domain name, what do they see? So you can see the domain name is web space. We can hit adjust destination, connect to web space. So here it's going to look into our folders we've created on our web space. TMWD is what we have created. We're just going to choose it, click save. So FTP example at 10 webdev.com now points to that directory. So anything we upload to that directory will actually be reflected in this. And right now we don't have any files, so it's going to give us that. But if we go to youtube.png, we can see the YouTube file we uploaded earlier. So one final thing we're going to do here now that we've got a subdomain pointed to our web space, and our web space houses this image that we uploaded with FileZilla, we are going to just create a generic index.html page. And one place I get a lot of my generic uh, templates is this Bootstrap. So if we go to Bootstrap, scroll down, we can include via CDN. We're going to use their quick start. So all this is going to do is give us a blank HTML template. And you can see there's really nothing in it other than referencing their Bootstrap files. So then we can use Bootstrap, HTML, CSS, JavaScript to build a website. In this case, we're just going to take this. We'll probably modify this hello world, make it say something else, and uh, upload that to our web space. So we're just going to select this, copy it, and I'm going to just paste it into a blank notepad document right here. You can see we can change the hello world to FTP example with FileZilla, we'll have it say. So we will save this. Save as. I am going to paste it into the same uh, website folder we have been working in. You can see TMWD, there's our YouTube. I'm just going to call it index.html. We're going to hit save. So here we have FTP example with FileZilla. So the only thing we have yet to do now is go into FileZilla and upload our file. And then we can visit our newly created subdomain and we should see this as the home page. So let me open FileZilla. Uh, we're going to refresh this. We should see our index.html. Hit refresh. You can see it's going to repull the directory listing. So if I want to drag and drop my index.html, 
we will see this is now out there. And now all that's left to do is pop over to our domain name. So here's the domain name with the YouTube.png. Let's back that off, click this. So now we are at the root of our publicly facing domain name. You can hit this right now on your web address or in your uh, web browser. And you'll see FTP example with FileZilla. So that's how you uh, set up FTP access, obtain a file uh, transfer pro protocol, FTP client for your PC, and then move files back and forth, and also set up a domain or subdomain, point it to web space, and then upload files to that web space so you can view on your own uh, domain name, your own websites. From here, you can do anything you want. Publish PHP files, HTML files, fill any uh, web app you would ever, uh, I guess, want to do. So that's how you do it.